of you to drop in and just in time for a song. Dreaming down the big gates, watch the nights of Phil Kate, all the light as it smothers the sun. I can tell by the moon you'll be joining me soon as a guest in my fortress of fun. And I can't wait to see you and once again free you, release from your human hair. Someday I will replace that big frown on your face with a smile and a murderous glare. We are two of a kind, violent, unsound of mind. You're in to my what is up, all you comic book fans? It's a comic book villain. Let me put him back. It's a comic book villain coming to another comic book haul. This is my 70th comic book haul. And I'd like to start off by wishing everybody a happy uh, comic book Wednesday for July 20, 26, 2017. I hope everybody makes it out to their local LCSs and gets what they want and finds what they're looking for. Um, <clears throat> I had to, of course, I always go to the two locations. Um, to pick up books, uh, everybody knows my story. If you haven't, you know, I pick up um, all my variants at one bookstore in the morning, then I run over to the other one where I have my so, sub box. But anyway, so I, I, it's gonna be like I said, I do have quite a bit of books today as well. Excuse me, real quick. I'm sorry, my little, my little doggy wants to go outside. Are you ready to go outside? Go, go, go. You're gonna go, go. Sorry about that, guys. My little chihuahua was, she was scratching at the door because they were in my back, they're in my computer room with me right now, my collecting room, whatever you want to call it. And so I had to let them out. My little chihuahua and my Rottweiler was sitting right there with her. Alrighty, guys, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, beautiful Canvas number two came out. Um, I haven't read number one. I have number one. I just haven't read it. Well, when I picked up the number one, I, you know, I just read, uh, I just heard about it on a video, speculation video, and said it was a real good book. So I just, I guess so many books that I, I don't get a chance to read them all, but I need to hurry up and jump on number one because I'm already, I already got the number two issue. And I hate to get far behind on issues. So like I said, this is number two. So I should be, I should be getting number one to reading it pretty soon. Hopefully by this weekend. And, Let's see. Spawn 276 came out today. The new, this one is the new dark horror st story arc starts here. This is uh, cover art and art, inside art is by Jason Sean Alexander, and he's also the co-writer on this on the Spawn book. I think he's gonna be. I think he's gonna co-write or co-write. Uh, look at that. He does some dark work. Uh, he's gonna co-write. Uh, about five issues maybe even a little bit more I'm not too sure I forgot how many he signed on for but uh, should be interesting he's got some good looking artwork and then of course then he also did the B cover as well the black and white and this is cool though because there are two different there's two different uh, pictures because lately the whoever's been doing the the regular one they've been just doing the color and then they throw out the black and white of it but this one is a black and white but it's also a total different looking cover that looks sweet right there, and there was also a C cover this uh, this week. It was done by Mr. McFarland himself. Look at that! Had to pick this one up as well. The Spawn. <clears throat> okay, Mindbender number three. This is pretty pretty cool read as well. It's pretty crazy. I've been enjoying it. The storyline, you know, simple. I mean. Like I said, it's real nice, real nice looking artwork, and then of course it got just got some simple little artwork as well. But uh, I've enjoyed this storyline. Mindbender number three came out today, so I picked it down. Oh, and this one right here, been really enjoying this one too. Plastic number four came out as well. This is the A cover. This is just one crazy in the head guy right here. If y'all haven't picked this up, it's only in issue number four. Um, number one, two, and three, they're not hard to find. Um, pick this up if you like crazy stuff. This is crazy. This guy talks to his blow up doll, and that is the A cover, like I said, of plastic number four. And of course, he they've been doing uh, 
the B covers and it's it's always been a severed head in a plastic bag plastic ziplock bag there's a ziplock right there this was dark right here now you know what this looks like it could be a connecting cover but no it's not I was uh, I was thinking it was to see how they had the half of the lantern thing right there the top of the light but like I said look at that this guy's just he's nucking fuck it's crazy uh, solar flare number four came out today this is another good book um if like i said i i really do enjoy books that are that uh can be realistic like this can really happen i mean it hasn't happened will it ever happen i don't know in my lifetime i don't know but this is also a uh this is solar flare which is a <clears throat> I'll try to remember. Um, but excuse me, I was just looking at the inside. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, like I said, this uh, if you if you get a solar flare, it can knock out the electrical grid. You know, in the United States, maybe all over the world. Not too sure. But uh, anyway, if it does, you know, then you have no power. And this just this storyline, this storybook is just going telling you about how these people are surviving. You know, because there's no power, nothing. So you know, basically going out and and taking what they need. And that's right. And like I said, I've always told my wife that too. I go, like I said, because I'm a bit of a prepper a little bit too. I mean, I'm not one of those overboard preppers, but I do have, you know, I got, my biggest thing is those, I got tons of weapons, tons of ammo. I reload. So I got tons, I got ammo that last me probably about a year if I had to. But uh, food, probably have food to probably last about maybe, I think, I want to say around six months. I can give you around six months roughly that I can tell you that I have enough food to survive if I needed to. If anything, so like I said, and that is a very good book. If you haven't read it, then you give it a try. Pick up number one. They're only on issue number four. Redneck number four came out. Oh, man, we're on nothing but issue number four. Redneck number four came out. This is the image of tomorrow cover right here. I don't have to tell nobody about this. Hands down, pretty probably about ninety nine point nine percent of the of comic collectors probably picked this book up. And even if you weren't picking this up after God Country and everybody, and you heard about. <clears throat> Kate's blowing up. People who have been jumping all over his nutsack. Everybody's been jumping all over him, picking up his books because I'm telling you, he's been doing awesome work, awesome work. And I do have the A cover, but it's it's from the other store because I had it pulled already. It was in my box, so this one I picked up while I was over there. And what I picked up at the first location too is the reprint of number three, and this is the reprint right here. What I like about some comics that do reprints is that, you know, most comics they do a reprint, but it's just a reprint. Pretty much the same cover, just something a little different color, a little different. Might be red. The title might be red, might be blue, might be green. But I love the ones that do a total different cover for the reprint. Like I said, because that kind of makes it even more, you know, uh, more collectible if you want it. You know, instead of just buying the same picture over and over excuse me over and over just you know just a different color in the title or something a little different like i said i love I, I love the ones that do this they put a totally different picture and that is redneck that is a reprint of number three the uh, second print excuse me reprint the second print was well, same thing and i picked up uh this location didn't have all the the jim lee cover cover uh the jim lee trading card covers that i wanted so i only got to pick up two there while i was there and uh, this is the Gwynpool number 18 came out today. I do collect Gwynpool, so but I only picked up the the 18. Uh, I only picked up the Jim Lee uh, card cover for this this one right here. That one's a nice cover. And then Captain America Steve Rogers. This one Gambit was. This is one. This is this one and another one is what I really really wanted, but they didn't have it. So, but as long as I had the Gambit one, that one was cool. This is one I really wanted. I love like Gambit. And here is, this is the B cover, and I ordered the C cover, pre-ordered the C cover, but when I saw the B cover, I said, no, nah, this one was cool, so I had to pick it up. This is also, well, number four, this is also number four of No no World. Um, this is the B cover right here. This has been good, this has been a good story, too. I like it. I really enjoyed this one. This one is pretty cool as well. Oh, here's some more comics. Let's see. But, uh, yeah, No World, number four. Uh, like I said, these are early on in the issue, guys. Like I said, if y'all want to find them and try to pick them up and, and give them a read, you should certainly go ahead and give them a try. They are pretty good. All right. 
Now we're into my, this is where I have my box at. Now you saw all of those. Look at all these I had to pick up. Now, oh shoot, sorry about that guys, I'm moving my camera everywhere. Now, one of the reasons I have so many books is because last week I only went to the first location in the morning. I think if y'all saw my last video, I said I only made it to the first location because I got real busy, not real busy, but I had something to do, something to take care of, and uh, so I didn't get a chance to make it out to the second location. So, so the books that I ordered, the pre-order that came in from last week that, that I had to pick them up. Well, of course, I picked them up today. So that's why this one is a little bit bigger today as well as far as that. So you're probably going to see some books that came out last week as well. But this one right here, Ben Riley's The Scarlet Spider number 5. This is, of course, this is new this week. Um, this has been pretty good. I've been enjoying this book as well, The Scarlet Spider. That's pretty cool read. So right there, and let's see. Okay, this is also this week, X-Men Blue number 8 came out today. Nice looking cover as well. I mean, I think pretty much a lot of people... I, the only thing is, I know a lot of people are, are reading the X-Men uh, Blue and Gold, and I just hear different stories. Some guys, it's it's kind of like a, the videos that I watch, is, I can pretty much say it's 50-50. It's probably like 50% don't like blue, 50% don't like gold. I happen to like both both of them, so... You can say I'm right on the fence with that. Weapon X, of course. I don't know if anybody's reading this one, but this one, I've, I've enjoyed it. I heard a lot of people talk negative stuff about it, but I've enjoyed it. This is uh, Weapon X number six. I'm digging that cover, too. So, but uh, like I said, some people say they didn't like it, and some people say they do. So, uh, Batman Shadow number four. I haven't read number one, two, or three yet either. Now, the reason I'm doing that, because I've, I've told people in the past, but... You know, I haven't said it in a while, maybe probably about seven, eight, maybe nine videos. But when I know it's going to be a short, um, like a four part series, five part series, six part series, I won't read them because I know it's only going to be, it's not going to be like an ongoing. So since I have so much reading, I said, I know these are, I know it's going to, this was supposed to end in six. So as soon as I get the sixth one in, I'll just read them all back to back. And so, like I said, and that's what I do. So if they're like mini series, I won't. Majority of the time, I won't read them. I just, uh, I'll just. Uh, excuse me. I will just. Oh wow! I grabbed another one. Dang it! I'll just wait till all the, the to the all the issues are. I'm sorry. Dang! I got. I had grabbed the wrong one. I'm sorry. What? All right. This is Black Panther number sixteen. Right here, this is the Jim Lee cover on it, uh, cover right here. Uh, so, like I said, I went to pick up these. And also, while I was there, they didn't have this one at the first location, but they had it, th they had it at the second one where I went to, so I picked up this one. This is also Black Panther number 16. This is the Kirby 100th. I've been liking these, uh, these uh, Kirby 100 issues, anniversary issues, uh, covers, excuse me. But, uh, and I'd like to uh, thank uh, the comic Crypt of Castle Hills. He's the one who turned me on to these. Uh, when they first came out, we were at the com we ran to the we were at the comic book store at the same time, and he was telling me, you didn't get the, the Jack Kirby cover? And I said, which one? He goes, for, it was an, another issue. And I said, no, I didn't. So then I ended up grabbing it. Then after that, I just started the ones. Now, all the, I keep looking when the Jack Kirby's come out now. So thanks to, thank you, Comic Crypt, for that, for getting me on to that. And like I said, I sold that early, just a little while ago. I, I picked up another one at this other location. Ah, that's what I hate. Sometimes I forget what I picked up at the first location. Sometimes I, I've done that before. Hasn't been often, but I've done it before. But there's one incident right there. Group number three. This one's been a pretty good read too as well. It's kind of, kind of funny too. I like it, but it's pretty cool. Like I said, so group number three came out. That was cool. Now this one right here, I picked up solely for the cover. I, I. I have a couple of issues of Batgirl, um, not too many, but I do have a couple, and this this right here, when I saw it on the shelf, it just jumped out at me, and I said, oh, that one looks pretty cool, so I just picked it up. I think I have, like, what, this is number 13, I probably have, like, of course, I have issue, I have the issue ones on the Rebirth, of course, the whatever, there was two, three covers, 
I think I got two, two and three, maybe four. Then I think I got maybe a seven and an eight somewhere when there was some nice looking covers that came out. So I picked up that one because I like the cover. Strictly for the cover, Suicide Squad number 22 came out. This is the B cover, and I didn't, wasn't really feeling the A cover. I usually pick up, I usually pick up both covers if they both appeal to me. But this time, the A cover didn't appeal to me, so I just, I only took the B cover. That's Suicide Squad number 22. Same thing on this, Detective Comics number 961. I usually pick up A and B as well, but lately, I, one or the other hasn't been appealing to me, so I've only been picking up one. So this is another one that I've only picked up one on Detective Comics. And this is also the B cover. This is the B cover for Detective Comics. Uh, so that's too Every time I open it up, I think that's a part of the damn comic. You need to stop that. So then, of course, I did the same thing to this one. Actually, I did that to pretty much all of them this, this week. This is uh, uh, Superman uh, Action Comics number 984. This is the A cover. B cover looked pretty cool, but I just didn't pick it up. I was like, yeah, just take one. Same thing with this one as far as... Ooh, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. The Flash number 27. Roadkill. So, uh... Both of them did look pretty good, but I just wanted I just wanted to pick up this one. So, this book has been really, really good. The Flash. Alrighty, guys. Now, this is the books from last week that I didn't pick up. So, because like I said, I had something to do very important that... I didn't have time to make it. So these are gonna be some this so these are from last 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 week. So not last last week, but last week. This is Doctor Strange. This is the Jim Lee cover. Look at that cover right there. Sweet. And then this is the this one's nice right here. That is the Royals number five. The Magneto cover. I don't I don't uh, I don't collect either one of the, the Doctor Strange or this one, but of course I'm getting all the not all the covers, but all the covers that I like for the Jim Lee variant covers. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought these were all last week. This because this one came out this week. Sorry about that. This is Nam Wolf. I believe this is number five. No, number four. Man, everything's on number four. Nam Wolf number five, uh, four, and this is. Uh, Man, what's his name? Uh, 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 what is his name written? It's trying to find the cover artist guy. Ah, I forgot his name. Jesus Christ. And I was looking at it last night when I was going through the stuff. And let's see. Editor Eric Potter, Montgomery Warner. Uh, He's got a weird name. I know it starts with an A or something like that. A Saz, a Tazi or something like that. But anyway, that is the cover right there. Sweet look cover. Look at that. So, and that is from this week, not last week. And this is also... I only had three books from last week. Or are they... Oh, no, he separate. Oh, that's why he separated them. I didn't think he separated them like that. I'm sorry, guys. Well, anyway, this is No World. Like I said, this is the the C cover that I pre-ordered. So, this one was already in my box. That's why when I saw the B cover at the other location in the morning, I picked it up because I liked it. And yeah, no, this one this one came out this this week too. This is Edge of Venomverse. Edge of Venomverse. Right there, that is number three. Hey, what happened to the edge? I thought I had that one. Hmm. And of course, this is redneck number four. That is the A cover right there. This is all the stuff that I had in my box. All the other stuff before that was off the back wall. And Blood Strike number one. I believe this is the Yeah, B cover. This is the B cover right here. And it is uh, covered by uh, Lightfield. Yeah, that's why I pre-ordered this one. This was a cover by Lightfield. So, <laughs> that, that almost looks like the Violator almost. But uh, anyway, that is the Blood Strike number one that came out, like I said, this week as well. This this came out last week. I know that. This is the Trump versus Time Lincoln. I heard, heard of it. This is a one-shot. I need to read this one. Even though it's a one-shot, I need to read it. I heard people say some crazy stuff about that. This one. I don't know if you can see that. 
chicks everywhere. But uh, yeah, they say this thing was freaked out, so I gotta jump on that and read it. And then Penny Dreadful, uh, number two. No, no, excuse me, not number two. Is this plus? No, it's not number two. I don't think it was. Let me see. Where is the barcode? There it is. Yeah, it's supposed to be number four. Yeah, Penny Dreadful number four. I believe this is what it is. But anyway, this is the A cover. Look at that. Artwork is freaking sick, too. So, and this is also from last week as well. Uh, Z Nation number four. This is the B cover. Look at that. It's just a separate head. Chopped it off. Walk around with this sword. And Z Nation, I enjoy the, the TV show. I don't know if anybody watches it. And this is uh, curse, uh, cuss word number six. This one right here, I believe this is the B cover. Yes, it is. This is the B cover. That is the B cover of number of uh, number six right here. This has been a crazy ass book too. But uh, oh, and then I also had him throw in this one. This one was from last week as well. This is Sisters of Sorrow. This was the one in. I can't believe. There was a one in five variant. That's what it actually was, a one in five. So every five books that they ordered, they got one of these. Haven't read it, haven't read the book yet, but I need to get on it. It's number one. I've heard a bunch of good stuff about this as well from videos, from other videos that I watch from other people. But that one is The Sisters of Sorrow. And that's what I picked up. Like I said, that was from last week because I called them and told them to put it in my box if they had it, and they did. And uh, let's see... And my my cover pick of the week. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna be my cover pick of the week. These are from last week. I couldn't pick those. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just trying to find where my cover of the week is going to be. Oh, that one was pretty cool. That one. That one. You know what my cover of the week is? Because, like I said, I picked that one up just solely for the cover itself. That's going to be my cover of the week right there, guys. Batgirl number 13. Who did the Yeah, Green Lantern with Colonel Sanders right there. Kentucky, I think that's gonna be an issue in the brightest day, the black is not To me it looks like it let's see available comic class version. The Kentucky Fried Chicken Saga <laughs> Oh that's crazy. Sorry about that guys. Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to find out who did the cover for y'all guys, but I can't seem to find it on there. But anyway, guys, that is my haul, my haul for a new comic book Wednesday of July 26, 2017. Um, like I said, I I know I have a. Oh, that's what I forgot. It's a new company that came, not a new company that came out, but I just found this on somebody's video, so they mailed it to me. This is from. It's called. Hold on, I'm trying. It's in a. It's in a big, 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 big. I mean, this is like bigger than a magazine size. And it is comic skins. Now they make comic covers for. Hold on. Here they are. I had scissors. They make comic covers and protectors. Oh, that's what it is. They make. Uh, they make comic cover protectors, something, see the CGC up there? They make them sort of like that, they, but they open, you can unsnap them and snap them and switch out comic books. And so they sell a, uh, what the hell? They sell a, uh, a, a cover to, like, you know how, you know how CGC sends, the, sends them in a plastic to you? Well, they sell one like that too, but it's a resealable one. So to protect your, uh, 
to protect your 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 graded comic books. So, oh, get the fuck out of here! Are you serious? So I ended up ordering some. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it! Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I just fucked them up. I was cutting. I was cutting the very, very top, but they were all the. Way, they're packed all the way to the top. Jesus Christ! Shit. I mean, they're they're not expensive, but I mean, they were like 59, 39 cents. I ended up buying three because I, I wanted to try them out. But I literally just cut, and if they're, they're all three straight. Oh my god, look at that. Yep, they all. Oh no. See? I don't know if you can see, but hold on. Look. I just cut it, but they're. Uh, the plastic looks good. And I know I ordered three of them. And look at they packed them up, packed it backwards. Though so this one really is ruined because it's the bottom. See, this one's the top. So yeah, I actually cut the flap on this one. Where's that? I actually cut the flap on this one, which is not a big deal because it just folds over. But this one is packed upside down. Oh my god! And look, I'll tell you right now. Look. Look how little, how little I cut, and I, they these fuck. Are you kidding me? Look, these. I don't know. You see, look. I have them at the edges. They're per. They're actually the perfect, perfect size of this fucking envelope. I can't believe if they're gonna put it in a perfect size envelope <laughs> they should at least write something here you know a don't, don't cut edges with scissors or, or something because it's like there is perfect I mean they fit perfect in this thing so I mean how else do you I mean most I, I, I know there's other ways to open it but majority of your people will do what I did take scissors and cut right along the edge and this one is ruined too. I can't. And then they packed them backwards. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad they did one fucking backwards because look at this shit. See, even this bag is ruined because this is the bottom. See, if they would, if I would have cut the flap right here, part of the flap, they wouldn't have made a difference like the first one. Yeah, I'm about to call them. Yep. This, like I said, this was the one that's cut on the flap, so that one's all right. But these two are actually cut at the bottom of the bag, which ain't gonna do shit for you because it's the fucking bottom of the bag. Yeah, I'm gonna have to jump on the phone here in a bit. Alrighty, guys. Well, like I said, I want to show you a new product, but fucking now I'm pissed, so. Alrighty, guys. Well, like I said, if y'all now, y'all know if y'all happen to order any of these fucking gun skins, I mean, not gun skins, comic skins from this company, be careful how you open them up. Alrighty guys, well, uh, that's it for my video, the comic book villain out. See y'all next week.